but I want to talk on words the Holy Spirit while I was getting ready to go and take my bath I was just you know praying a little and then the Holy Spirit began to minister to me the anointing of the Spirit just came strong upon me and the Lord told me that I should speak to people about words write this down words are God's instrument of creation words next week when I teach you the I, we finish the vocal gifts and the power gifts we'll talk some more but it's important for you to know words are God's instrument of creation and one classic proof of spiritual growth and maturity is the ability to speak consistent with the Word of God listen carefully the ability for your communications and your speakings to always without fail be in line with the Word of God now sometimes in an attempt to press into deeper dimensions of God listen carefully and I must admit this to you, you know sometimes as we press towards superior dimensions in the spirit which is valuable we tend to trivialize some of these foundational truths and look at them as though they are basic they are for children at every level of your work with God your words will be the programmers of your destiny write it down your words are the programmers of your destiny you don't talk anyhow speak antichrist you must culture your words by the word of god you must ensure that your communication is building your life and your destiny many of us have destroyed our lives because we have allowed our words let me show you a few scriptures that will really challenge you can i give you some verses about words that have really really blessed me i tried to write the five or six most powerful scriptures i have found about words and i will give it to you ready media please help us if we can project them they will be great um we need some speed here so that we can pray number one john 6 63 john 6 63 the words that i speak unto you jesus is speaking he says it is the spirit that quickeneth listen the flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are not just sounds that enter your ears they are spirit and life so while you are saying it is not for people like us we are the nobodies you are sending spirits you are sending instruments of creation you are sending messengers into your future programming war programming tragedies for you words are powerful god created the universe through words the only thing god did not create through words is man and he said it is just that he added with his hand again every other thing god said god saw god said god saw number two ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 and then we'll go to matthew 12 37 let me give us a verse ahead media please give us quickly ecclesiastes 8 verse 4 and then matthew 12 37 it says where the word of a king is these are the scriptures that have blessed me and shaped my understanding of the power of the spoken word where the word of a king is there is what power except you are not a king but if you are a king and the bible says five verse ten of revelations don't go there just write it it says that we have been made unto our god kings and priests a kingdom of priests and we shall how do we reign remember i've taught you dominion mandate one of the ways that we legislate is through the power the our legislature through words for where the word of joshua selman is there is power where the word of anybody in koinonia who has an understanding that means if i see things happening in my life and i don't like what is the first thing to do please talk to me what is the first thing to do listen listen don't let anybody make you feel these things are basic no you didn't create the realm of the spirit you came from there anybody that is born and says i will not eat food the regular way i want to live my own way except you have caught the revelation of being a breatharian just know that you are going to die and die you will die and you will shrink and die like somalian children the authorized way is that you continue to eat 
where the word of a king is there is power matthew chapter 12 and verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified like a court of law there is a spiritual court right the realm of the spirit works on a legal basis he said for by thy word as easy as salvation is it takes words to impart the life of christ to you the word is near thee even in thy heart and in thy mouth the word of faith that we preach right romans 10 verse 8 to 10 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned so when you are condemned who condemned you it's not really the, your neighbor no no you only attracted to your life what your words made I refuse to speak negative about myself I refuse it you will never hear me say anything sarcastic about myself I love myself I, I think it was school of ministry students I was teaching and I was telling them that these people that hang themselves it has been a wonder for me for many years even if I were not born again I won't hang myself no I love myself passionately hang myself no I may quarrel myself I may challenge my body to hang to go and stand on a rope and just tie myself no by your words you are justified by your words you are condemned isaiah 43 verse 26 then we go to numbers 14 28 and then just two more and we're done i just felt like speaking to us about words by the spirit of god because many believers are becoming careless we speak anyhow and we don't mind and we keep programming things that destroy us and then we say it doesn't matter it does matter brothers and sisters everybody who worried everybody who strives for mastery must do so lawfully we don't invent the rules we find them out it's an ancient part and we walk in it isaiah 43 and verse 26 he says the b part he said declare thou that thou mayest be justified how do you justify yourself so how does the sick justify himself I'm healed in the name of Jesus yes there might be pains but I decree and declare by his stripes I am healed now when you are saying this you see a lot of emojis look at you and say you are still a baby Christian until one day as matured as you think you are the devil is not a fool he will just allow pride to reach the highest point and sweep you one day in a way that you won't believe I speak over my life I speak over Koino Koinonia is planted the Bible said they that be planted in the house of the Lord they shall flourish in the courts of our God even in old age he said they shall be fat and flourishing many of us used to do it before but now that we are becoming men of God we are throwing it away get back it is the childlike principle that has lifted ordinary people to become mighty if i tell you i don't speak the word i'll be lying i speak the word Shabakatulia. joshua selman you are blessed you are blessed i have a little blackboard with scriptures i recite those scriptures when i'm praying and god did extraordinary things through the hands of joshua selman so that handkerchiefs and aprons you don't wait till you see the result it is the words that command the results in the name of jesus i declare wealth and riches are in my house durable riches i decree and declare i shall not die i'm exempted from the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence people like pastor chris will say keep how, how does he say it? I, 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 thank you keep saying it don't stop talking it do it oh do it like that that's how it works believe me that's how it works you don't speak once and keep quiet listen if i speak and i say in the name of jesus any spirit oppressing anybody and people are outside there why can i not speak and say in the name of jesus everywhere my destiny helper is by the favor of god come that you saw it in the bible is no guarantee that it will happen in your life you must speak speaking is so important to the point that they had to shut the mouth of Zechariah so that he would not speak nonsense if he had spoken he would have altered John the Baptist's destiny Numbers 14 28 
very interesting scripture i found this scripture during a retreat numbers 14 28 say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in my ears not as you desire quietly as you have spoken in my ears question where was the ears when you were speaking did the ears come near your mouth so while you were blasting and saying in the name of jesus i decree and declare i decree and declare oh grave where is your sting oh death where is this and that and you are prophesying and you are speaking and you are saying in the name of the lord jesus christ i have a job the lord grants me favor i may not have an uncle i may not have an auntie but in the name of jesus god raise help us the bible says god is bringing his ears down and he's hearing he says as i you have spoken in my ears so will do not to your neighbor to you to you to you Isaiah 44 verse 26 Isaiah 44 verse 26 Isaiah 44 verse 26 talking about the Lord it says he that confirmeth the word of his servant confirm meaning you speak and go let me tell you something and perform the counsel of his messengers I want to teach you something about faith look up get any of my teachings on faith let me teach you something about faith you see pastor come satan has lived very long in this realm believers hear me let me speak to you satan has lived very long in this realm and he understands that man out of the assistance of the spirit has one limitation it's called our humanity and part of the components of our humanity is that we can be wary is that true Remember the Bible says the keeper of Israel, you know, doesn't sleep, doesn't slumber. But men sleep and they can slumber. Are we together? So this is what he does. Satan knows that your eyes, your optical eyes, your ears, all of these things control your perceptions, hence your convictions. And so what he does is he, he makes sure that perpetually before you is an awareness of your limitation are you hear what i'm saying now listen to me so while you are praying in the middle of hot prayer the devil just comes in and says where's the husband and you would think it will enter you because you're in the spirit it will just enter you and you say oh god am i not a beautiful lady what is all this you see he has brought you back to his realm the bible says to walk in the spirit let me tell you what to do when that happens that's a sign that your a reaction is happening in the spirit every time you make such a proposition please help that lady that is a sign that something is happening in the realm of the spirit are we together i remember the time when god showed me the vision of koinonia we're about to start i saw overflows remember I, I said I saw people coming from other cities, other places. That was what I saw. As at that time, they had not even expanded CGC. I remember when I was praying and I was going to go and announce it. Well, I was praying, 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 praying. There came that voice of doubt again. Don't think it doesn't happen to me. No. Most people will lie to you and say it doesn't happen. It's a lie. It happens to everybody. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That while you are praying and the devil says you now want to disgrace yourself and God, you have not even gotten a venue they have not given you anything just because god showed you cgc you now want to make a stupid statement but the bible says the spirit of faith has a character it speaks it doesn't wish and hide no 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 it speaks the spirit of faith it speaks speaks oh let me let me play it safe when it, when the answer comes so that i won't be embarrassed question whoever takes the glory should take the shame every time you speak you put pressure on god's integrity lord i take your word and i shout it let them hear so that if it does not happen they, no 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 i can't give you the glory and take the shame many of us here we have been threatened by our physical circumstances into silence let the redeemed of the lord not whistle say so say so 
I say it all the time. I stand before my mirror, Joshua Selman, you are anointed. You are rising from glory to glory. Superior dimensions of the anointing. The favor of God is upon you. Sometimes I'm listening to Koinonia message. And while Apostle is prophesying, I'm there in my house kneeling down and listening. Because there are two different people, I tell you. And I listen, I listen to Apostle's message. I listen to his message more than many of you here. I can sit down and claim because I'm the one ministering and never be blessed from it. There is no koinonia message I've not listened to. Not for clarity and administration. God is my witness. I stand before him in your presence. Lift up your hands and I'm on my knees. Sometimes I play miracle service messages all while I sleep and I have strange encounters. Don't think this thing we are just faking it. You don't walk this thing, it will never work. God is not a herbalist. Are we together? Sometimes I carry maybe Benny Hinn message or something I'm playing and in the sleep it continues. Mysterious encounters. When you wake up, the devil will say, Pastor Alpha, you have been prophesying for two weeks. You to reason. And you say, no, sir. This is what many of us do, God, but it's true now. See, if you if you don't stop getting embarrassed by the absence of your result, you will never walk by faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This shame, shame, believers, hear me. I'm speaking to you by the spirit. This shame consciousness of looking like a fool while awaiting your manifestation. Every miracle you see will risk taken by faith. Lord, I thank you. Nations are coming. This ministry is rising. Oh, you are talking too much. Thank God I'm not talking to you. Lord, you who I'm talking to, you know me. I, come on, please. Don't go and shout in somebody's house. It's not your house. That's why the Bible says, close your door. Enter your room. Close your door. Talk to your father. There may not be money now. But in the name of Jesus, Father, I'm a tither, I'm a giver. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy. Jakatabata. And while you are speaking, the Holy Ghost just says, dance for one hour. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. The word has come. And you put one hot Igbo high praise. Hot high praise. You may not know how to sing well. She can sing for you. You know those, those, those wonderful Igbo sisters. And you are dancing. Apostle, I can't dance. Dance anyhow. It's an instruction. You dance like David danced. And while you are dancing, all of a sudden, in that foolishness of faith, the God I serve, who takes the weak things, the foolish things, is working a miracle. You see, let me tell you this. Spiritual people must be childlike. Not childish, childlike. We are too matured for results. All this big manism in the presence of God. No, sir. Are we together? Yes. You must speak. You get up and you have a bad dream. You are lying down and one spirit comes to sleep with you and oppress you. And you get up and you say, Kai, this thing has happened again. No, sir. Zeketos katabarakotosia. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I've been raised with Christ. And the devil says, didn't the spirit know while you're there? Just keep it. Keep at it. Satan is a coward. When he looks at, let me tell you something. When you are bold enough, you will resist him and I promise you he will flee. Is God speaking to us? We have been wasting words. The words that are supposed to be used for edification, we use that energy for gossip, for backbiting, for speaking words of unbelief. Pastor Alpha, that, that, that prayer we prayed that time, Maybe you prayed it too. Let's be honest. Uh, not that I'm saying there's no faith too. That's not what I'm saying. But is it really working? Just don't. You don't need to let nobody know. Just whisper it to me. That's unbelief. That thing you did is unbelief. Because you are trying to play games with God. Look, if you are in this thing, enter it all and stay there and die in it. If you are not in it, then don't fake it. I'm a talking spirit. Truly I talk. Not talkativeness. 
reduce half of the time we use jumping around and talking stories and talking nonsense go back to the secret place Kalabotas Kaliadash. this family is a family of peace this is my husband this is my wife we love ourselves no demon from anywhere is coming to scatter us you call your child daddy thinks you carry him say no 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 i'm a priest now this is not daddy bring your head Shato let him just be playing around the head or cry leave, leave him there don't feel sorry for him pray you get up and walk around your house dr paul Enenche was saying something they are the lord's garden that they are building now he says almost every day he goes there to speak and build just the zinking of it the the roofing of that place is six million dollars six million dollars to face seventy thousand capacity seater it's not just ritual he will go there quietly in the night at his level and status lord you have given the instruction let those who will publish it come the lord gave the word great i pray over koinonia lord thank you financial help us don't just say favor is happening automatically no lord there are men and women who will bless me every service i pray that prayer i'll be honest with you lord i am serving you in truth and the bible says he that ministers to you in carnal things lord i expect favor i'm a receiver with thanksgiving i receive grace you have a troublesome tenant someone who is disturbing you and making life easy instead of fighting physically i've taught you spiritual intelligence Shaka tabata. lord this woman is making life com uncomfortable for my children in the name of jesus i make decree i'm a man of peace i declare my borders are peaceful even god who quickened the dead and collects magnetizes attracts things that not as though they were this is not positive confession this is creation 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 